G'day everyone, I'm uh, on the way back down from Rockhampton now, heading back down to the uh, to the lodge, Glen Fittick Lodge, and uh, yeah, just uh, throwing a few things through in my mind as I do as I'm driving, it seems to be my office, and for many years it has been my sort of part-time office, I spend quite a few hours every week in this uh, in this chair, racing along the highways on the uh, in the old Land Cruiser, listening to the radio there, and oh, it's just, I couldn't listen to it for long. I had to just switch it off. I'm getting so not disgusted, disgusted, disheartened. What is the word? Disappointed. Probably disappointed is, is probably the best word. I'm so bloody disappointed in my fellow man. Come on, people. What the heck is going wrong? Every second word I hear on the radio, on TV, out of the mouths of people, especially as I head further down south. You know, I'm not going to go talking about a pandemic and, and whatever because I know as soon as you start mentioning that on... YouTube or a Facebook feed you get censored no I'm not a conspiracy theorist I try and look at everything everything I can I try and look at it from that point of view I look at it from that point of view and oftentimes the truth is pretty much in the middle there somewhere sometimes it's right out one side sometimes it's right out the other side but most times not one attitude is is correct the truth is is flexible the truth depends on where you're sitting at the time i remember talking with kids about this one time i chris kurt and gray sitting around the table as young ankle biters you know they're sitting around the table and they're, they're having a go at each other rah 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 and i quietly placed a few ob objects around the table where they could see them and where they couldn't see them. And what I was using were those little capsules, those little Kinder Surprise capsules. You know the ones that they get the little little gift in it? You know, if they be good, you give them the chocolate, they eat the chocolate, get rid of it quick, so they can get out that little gift inside. You know, some little trinket that they drop on the floor and you stand on it in the middle of the night in the dark and just about give yourself an injury, you know? Anyway, that's squabbling away, so I shifted these ones around the table. And I said, hey, pull up, fighting little, little critters. I said, Grace, how many Kinder Surprises do you see? And she gazed around the table and she said, I can see two. I said, don't move, nobody move, just sit where you're sitting. And look at that table. How many can you see? And she said, I can see two. And Kurt piped up, he said, he said, you're wrong, Grace. He said, there's three. I can see three. And Chris was on the other side. And he put a big smirk on his face. And he said, uh, well, you're both wrong. He said, I can see four. There's four Kinder Surprises on the table. And I said, well, this is the definition of truth, guys. Truth is how you see it from where you are sitting at the time. Grace... You can't see the ones that Kurt can see, but neither of you can see the ones that Chris can see. And from where I'm sitting, I reached over, I said, here's one, Chris, that none of you can see. So there's five. And I said, guess what? There's a, there a cup turned upside down on the table, and I turned it up the right way. Here's another one. I said, there's six. So there's one that was even hidden from me. And that's what we're seeing at the moment. People saying, this is the truth. These are the facts. This is the data. And I know very well, you can get one set of data and you can graph your lines on a graph differently, put your numbers differently on that graph, and you can get a line to go dead flat or you can get a line to go straight up in the air. It depends on how you read the data. And what we're seeing right across the world now is different people interpreting data 
different ways. And they do that to support their argument. And people will be saying, oh, McGee, you're doing the same thing. You are, you're looking at this through your eyes. Yes, I am looking at it through my eyes. And the trouble I see is that there's so much misinformation that how the heck do you work out what is true, what is truth, what is reality, and what's a bunch of lies? And I'd ask everybody out there, now I'm not telling you what to think, I wouldn't do that. But what I'm saying to you is have a look at it, but have a look at it through the eyes of other people as well, not just your own eyes. Look at it from different angles. And what you might see then is it's not as clear cut as what you may feel. Especially when I look here now and there's people talking about mandating discrimination. Right, discrimination, where if I call in down here one day, and I call, call into this service station to get fuel, and if I can't prove that I've been jabbed, then I don't get fuel. Call into the, the uh, grocery store to get some groceries. If I can't prove that I've been jabbed, I don't get groceries. Hey, come on. This is really getting nasty. Do you think this will make people cooperate with each other? Do you think people will get on well, get on better? Or do you think this is going to cause division, animosity and hatred, bitterness, mistrust, greed amongst our fellow men? I think we really should take a down good look at this and see if we can do it a little bit better because you threaten us or try and coerce, blackmail, uh, bribe, trick me into doing something that I don't want to do, look out, because I won't stand for it. And I think a lot of people feel the same way. My little Judy, she's one of the loveliest ladies that you, you'll ever meet. And I know a lot of people that come through our, our hunting camps, they say the same thing. Judy will go out of her way for everybody. She will help everybody all the time. Okay? She's the one up cooking at 2 o'clock in the morning. She's the one with the camp oven desserts for guys every night just to try and please people. But you come along there to my duty and say, right, eh? You've got to have a beer. You've got to have a beer because everybody's got to have a beer for the betterment of society. Uh, you've got to have a beer. She's never had a drink in her life and she never will. She'd say, no thank you. She'd be very polite. And if you tried to force her to have it, she'd double down. There's no way she would have that. Even if you could try and say to her, this is gonna be the best thing that ever happened to you. She'd just simply say, no, it goes against my beliefs. It goes against who I am. And you know what? I will support her with my dying breath. So, people, this is the way that quite a few of us feel. Be very careful who you support at the moment because you marginalise and you ostracise the people in this country that have got the guts to stand up and this country will never be the same. That's my two bobs worth. Hope you're having a good day. I hope it doesn't get much worse. Talk to you soon, eh?